what's up beautiful people it's in welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's titled pierce morgan it is time to stop this woke nonsense mm. awesome i'm excited to check this one out to hear what pierce morgan have got to say let's check it out joining us right now to discuss this and it's not just an american power but problem is pierce morgan host of pierce morgan uncensored on fox nation pierce we were talking about this a little mm. in the break and on the five this is getting worse, and it's not just an American problem. Did we start it? I would say yes, but I would also say that in Britain we've got the same problem of the woke left trying to dominate an agenda, which means that their rights for a tiny minority of people are now supplanting the rights of the vast majority. And I want to ask, when I hear that poor mother there talking in the way that she did, I want to ask, where are the rights of girls and women in all this debate? Mm. Why are women being erased? Why is the word woman now an offensive term? Mm. When did we allow biological males to dominate women's sport and wreck it irrevocably, potentially? When did we allow young girls to be in some kind of locker room and have biological males walking in and derobing in front of them? Mm. When did we let this happen? Exactly. And how can this be happening just after the Me Too Time's Up campaign, which went on for years and was supposed to be all about protecting women? Who is now protecting women? And I address this as much to other women as I do to you or to men. We can say as much as we like about this, but so many women have been cowed into silence. Mm. They're too afraid to do what that mother did, because if they do put their head over the parapet, they get shot down and called transphobic. Which is nuts. You think it's 1919 or we're living with yeah. the Taliban in charge, but it's not. So the administration is not just jumping on the transgender side. They are staying, I don't know, straddling the fence. Listen to what KJP said, talking about this thing or really not talking about it. Listen. The Department of Education proposed a rule, as you know, uh, that gives schools the flexibility to establish their own uh, athletics uh, policies. And so while establishing uh, guardrails, right, to, to prevent discrimination against transgender kids. And that is something that is in incredibly important uh, uh, that the president wants to make sure that we also uh, do that as well. They can't figure wow. it out. They want the school wow. districts to figure it out. Well, she, she also, they don't know what's good. Well, she also went on to say that the issue of trans athletes in women's sport is very complicated and there's no easy solution. No, it's not it's complicated not and there's a very easy solution. You ban them. Canada today, yes. and cricket, I know your favorite sport, but the Canadian national cricket team has picked their first transgender <laughs> cricketer. This is a cricketer who, as a male, until two years ago, was incredibly unsuccessful, never mm. got anywhere near international competition, will now be representing Canada. What does that mean, Brian? That means that a biological female has been deprived of the chance Absolutely. of playing for her country mm. because a biological male who was nowhere near good enough as a man mm. to compete at that level is now considered an elite sportswoman. Uh, it, is, it is completely outrageous. Exactly. If I'm right, track and field got ahead of this and, and they said, no, that's not going to happen. Some sports have done it. All sports should do it. And by the way, it's not about being transphobic. I want trans people to have the rights to fairness and equality yes, that we all enjoy. Exactly. That doesn't mean that in their campaign to get those rights, they damage and diminish and destroy women's rights. And so I say, look, in sport, very simple. You have another category yes. for trans athletes, completely yes. new category. Yes. Or they compete against their biological sex as many of them used to, Simple. less successfully. Why This is so easy to solve. I wonder why we're not. In the UK, they say this, we want to take it. NHS doctors are told not to ask trans patients their names because it's rude, intrusive, and insensitive, according to officials. So you cannot ask them their gender? You cannot ask them their name? Oh, it's ridiculous. I mean, look, a little <laughs> thing, but when I fly on British Airways, obviously, always British Airways, but when I fly on British Airways, there used to always be a soothing monotone British accent that would say, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your British Airways yeah. flight. Now they're not allowed to say ladies and gentlemen because there might be somebody who identifies as something else on the plane who <laughs> might or might not be craziness. offended. To which I say, what about my right to exactly. be called a gentleman? gentleman? What about a woman's right to be called a, a lady? lady? When did those rights get completely destroyed at the altar of trans activism? I want their rights to fairness and equality, mm -hmm. but I want my right. Actually, exactly. to be called a man and a gentleman. I want women to be called women. I want girls to be protected. Yes. I want women's sport to be protected. Thank and you, I sir. think the vast majority of people in America and Britain and right. other countries agree with me. Mm -hmm. But California is not only doesn't agree with you, they're suing a district 
that says, no, we will tell your parents if you're a 12 year old girl and you want to be a 12 year old boy, and they're being sued. That's the Chico Unified School District. Well, you've seen this case of an 11 year old girl who apparently was a little confused at school, and the school said, right, uh, we think that you, you know, you're secretly wanting to be a boy. We're going to help facilitate that. We're going to allow you to identify as a boy at the school, and we won't tell your parents. The parents sued and have won $100,000. Yes. That's how this is going to change. Yes. You're going to see a lot of lawsuits, mm -hmm. because I've, I'm a father of an 11-year-old girl. I've got three older sons, but 11-year-old girl that same age. I watched the interview with the mother and daughter on Fox uh, mm -hmm. today, I think it was. And what was striking? This girl, who had been confused, is now not confused yep. at all. Mm -hmm. She's a girl. That was yes. Friends with right. Yeah. So that was your interview, I think. And, and oh, I remember thinking, right, so that's my point. They are not emotionally or psychologically or physically equipped yes. to make a decision about what they want to be. Mm -hmm. The parents should be involved in that decision. Mm -hmm. And the schools hiding it from parents, in my view, is a form of state sponsor, sponsored child abuse. What yes. if your school had that policy where your daughter goes to school about not informing the parents? What would you do? I'd go completely nuts. I would identify as a raving lunatic. And I would go in there and I would pull her out and I'd say, she's not coming back here. Yes, so pull her out. Woke nonsense. Exactly. And most parents would feel that way. Now, the idea that my daughter could somehow be a boy at school and that was hidden from me as her father, I would find completely outrageous. Yes. And I think most parents think that. Exactly. You know what You're I also right, one think? Most teachers agree with you. Yes. And they are subjected to the teachers' unions that said, you step out of line, you lose your tenure, you lose your position, and they don't get paid enough anyway. Too much corporate American, and I include unions and all of that as well, too much corporate American, corporate Britain, and corporate Canada and other countries, they're getting bullied into taking positions on this stuff, mm. which tailor to a tiny minority of activists. Yeah. And they are forgetting about the vast majority of people who actually lead common sense lives and who want basic principles about the society they live in to be upheld. New, uh, one New Jersey teacher came out and said they were told by the school district mm. to hide the fact that a child told them about they wanted to transition. So what do you do if you're the teacher? You speak up and do the right thing, you lose your job the next day. And the thing is, it's easy to say do the right thing, but when you got kids at home yeah. and you got to make a living, it's tough. We've had a, a clinic in London called the Tavistock Clinic, very infamous clinic, where they were performing these surgeries on young kids who wanted to transition. What would have happened with that 11-year-old girl? Right, who thought she was a little bit confused, who was probably a bit of a tomboy. Remember tomboys? Yes, tomboys, that yes. Was? A lot of girls would go through a phase of being tomboys. The idea that they would then be seized by society, Absolutely. put into a clinic and mutilated mm. before they had a chance to really even go through puberty and work out for themselves what are they actually going to be in life right. is, I, in, to me, inhumane. I don't know how well you studied my biography before you come I've on. I've read it 15 you. times. Right. So I want to be you. Right. I, 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 you, are, you are the Mick Jagger of television presenters. You are the right. Duracell bunny. You're the man who never sleeps, the man who right. always works. You are a template for all of us. Okay. And I, I, you should just identify as a Duracell bunny. I, <laughs> well, if I could finish my thought, <laughs> I totally forgot. In fifth grade, I declared I would, not, uh, I would not be interested in a girl that wasn't good in sports. Like Tatum O'Neill right. in Bad News Bears. I don't know if that you carry that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Tatum O'Neill would have been forced to be a guy. Of course. All right. Thank of you. Of course. Did you enjoy, I enjoyed your first appearance on Laura Ingram's show. You, I, you, you know what? She wasn't what I expected. But <laughs> ah, she's ah. now apparently, Laura is now identifying <laughs> Brian Kilmey. <laughs> Just for today. Which, which if you think you haven't heard a horrifying uh, transition enough, uh, this is as bad as it gets, people. Evidently, it's okay to come on the show without a tie on, too. <laughs> well, you know yeah. what? I took my lead from you because you normally go al fresco right. when you're doing these kind of shows. Right. And then you come up all tied up, and I feel, now I feel a little bit naked. Right. You, you, you're not <laughs> naked. You just so you know. Pierce, thanks so much for coming in. Hey, great to see you. Uh, great to see you, and great I'll see you hopefully next week. I keep fighting the fight on this stuff because this has to be won. Seriously. This stuff. is a culture war which is damaging the integrity of women's rights in sport, in uh, privacy, in, in safety, all these things. It has to be won. Women and girls have to be protected. Mm, yes, thank you, you sir. I could yeah. carry on for another <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know, right. Another segment, maybe? Coming up. Oh my goodness, I'm glad somebody actually said it. And I know Pierce Morgan for sure that he's definitely gonna go on and on if you allow him to talk about this. Because listen, I find it really disturbing when you hear maybe a child who say, oh, they are confused on what they want to do. And then you now, then you 
see the teacher saying oh um you want to transition like come on that is that should not be the first thing to come into mind to say to tell a child a child to transition like come on if they're confused let the parents in on it and likewise the parents too if your child is confused like the next solution should not be transition i mean it's so it's so annoying when you hear the scene and i saw with um, pierce morgan on that when he said um if trans if trans are to compete in sports there should be a different a separate category for them to compete in the sport rather than trans female or trans women is competing with biological women in sports it don't make sense it doesn't because you're robbing the women the rights robbing the women of their rights in the sports it doesn't make sense it honestly doesn't and like now you hear now the word women is now uh, more like uh, you're not allowed to say the word woman anymore is it's not like against the law to say the word woman like come on i don't even get or understand where this word is going to like i, I said it in my previous video that they want to silence the women and that is what they are practically doing it's all of the craziness and nonsense they are doing honestly more people need to talk about this because imagine um a, a female trying to um uh, protect her body and all of that um and everything be changing or being in the locker room with a man who has decided to identify as female and you're saying that she is it, okay i don't get it or you're saying little kids little girls should be in a logo, locker room to change as the same as a man who has decided he he doesn't like the body he's in anymore he wants to um identify as female therefore little girls should also be like come on it's all this craziness has to stop honestly it has to but hey let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below do you think um the trans um community or trans in sports should have a separate category where they compete if actually they want to become they want to compete in sports as well there should be separate category i really love your thoughts on that because um honestly like what pierce morgan said there should be fairness amongst them as well since um they they are crying out to be or they want their voice to be heard it should be the exact same thing for the for the people who are still thinking straight we should have our fairness not our voices be silenced or not the voices of the uh, people who are who are still in their right senses to be silenced because it seems like if you're if you still have um if you're still thinking straight then they want you to be silenced they don't want your voice to be heard come on there should be fairness while they are also advocating for their right it shouldn't be in, 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 in with the aim to silence the others. It is not transphobic. It is just calling it as it is. I remember back then, there used to be no confusion. Like, if, if girls feel like they want to identify as boy, then you see the era of tomboys. And ladies, in fact, we had more tomboys then. And no one came about with the um confusion or uh, no you see you you don't see people who are confused whoever want to identify as tomboy that identifies as, as tomboy and everyone rode with it but now it seems like everyone wants to the different way of thinking or wants to think in a different light and shot the others who are thinking streets but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below um you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video